Hey everyone, today I wanted to show you how to make an apple cinnamon bread. Now the ingredients you see on the screen are some of the ingredients I'll be using. I'll have everything in the description of the video. To get started, I'm going to be using a oat flour. So I just took some oatmeal and then I put it in the blender and just post it. You could also do this in a food processor or you don't have to do it at all, but I find it's easier if you grind your oat up. It's just going to be easier to stir and to work with. So to start, I'm going to be adding a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda and two teaspoons of baking powder. We're going to add all of our dry ingredients first. I'm also going to add some sea salt. And it calls for a quarter of a teaspoon, but I just added around a pinch. I'm also going to be using three fourths cup of brown sugar. And when you do that, mix all of your dry ingredients together. Now you can use white sugar as well or any sweetener that you would like, but I love the way brown sugar tastes with apple. I'm also going to be using two Granny Smith apples. Then I'm going to remove the skin and we're going to take the core and the seeds out of the apple as well. When you're done with that, you're going to take your apple and dice it up as small as you can get it. Because you want this to be all throughout your bread. Then here's how I look when I was done dicing my green apple up. So next, I'm going to take my green apple and add it to a, another bowl. Because remember, we set our dry ingredients to the side already. So I'm going to add my chopped apple to the bowl. And I'm also going to start adding my wet ingredients. So I use one cup of milk. And you can use almond milk as well or any milk that you would like. I'm also going to add several dashes of cinnamon. Next, I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. You can use imitation vanilla as well, or you don't have to use it with the vanilla, but I love the way vanilla tastes and with apples and different desserts. Now, this is a healthier dessert because we're not using a lot of processed foods and this is made with no oil, no egg. Now, next, I'm going to add my wet ingredients to my dry ingredients. And we're going to be mixing everything together thoroughly. I'm also going to use applesauce instead of oil because we can use the applesauce to put some more moisture back into our bread. And this will also bind our ingredients together with, since we're not using egg in this particular bread. There are different variations to this recipe. So if you try making this recipe, just tag me in your social media. I would love to see how it came out for you. So next we have everything mixed up. I'm going to take a nine by five loaf pan that's already greased very lightly, or you can use parchment paper as well. I'm also going to add several dashes of cinnamon on that. And then I'm going to take a knife and mix it throughout the bread. It's going to give it a nice color to it. And we'll have a nice cinnamon taste all throughout our bread. And this is going to go into a 350 degree oven for around 40 to 50 minutes. And you definitely want to check your times on your bread. Just to make sure you don't overcook it. You don't want to dry it out. Next, I'm going to make a just a simple glaze using powdered sugar and two to three tablespoons of milk. We'll make that and set it to the side and wet on our bread. Just want to give you a look at that bread bacon. Look at a nice color on it. So now that our bread is done, I'm just going to put this simple glaze on it, cut our bread up. Simple as that. You could enjoy this as a snack, a dessert, or you could even eat it for breakfast. So that's it for today. Be sure to check my next videos out.